Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new rainy day. Finally you got down here. <laughs> I went in one door and Sam went in another. Food is ready to roll. Way back when we said we were wanting to get horses for our kids, we got a lot of hate because people said, they're too young, you're too inexperienced, all that kind of stuff. But one thing that we knew as parents, that we know as parents, is that if you get any animal, doesn't matter if it's a hamster, dog, cat, whatever, uh, you have to do it under the understanding that it, ultimately the parents are totally responsible. Whether it's that you're responsible for making sure your kids take care of it, or that you plan to step in when your kids aren't there, it's gotta be a joint effort. And Sam and I are so super selfish because we come down to do the chores on our own because we like it. <laughs> we like it quiet. Have been? Oh, you are such a patient boy in the morning. Okay. Gotta wait. No. Hey. <laughs> well, that was not very good. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> but you, you didn't even prevent him. Our trainer strided to Harmony. Have a new video out. You guys gotta go check it out. It was an interview with their students. They interviewed Gabby, Sophie, and Kaylee. Yep, that happened. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm dying, dying to go see it because they asked the girls some crazy hard questions and. From what I saw when they were filming the interview. Oh my god. Yeah, they can't go out there. It is pure wet. From what I saw from when they were filming the interview, um, it's they're funny. Like, and Sophie is so me in that interview. Also, our friend Kaylee, if you guys know Kaylee, she has a new video out where her and Gabby did the handcuff for 24 hour challenge. There may or may not have been a few seconds in between changing of clothes that they uh, unhooked, but for the rest, for the most part, they were handcuffed for 24 hours. And uh, Gabby has a new video out on her channel. So lots of new videos if you guys want to check them out. It is Stride to Harmony, Painted Dreams, and Always Gabby. Our channel is about to change in a whole new direction. It is just so crazy to me how you can wake up on any regular day and then all of a sudden this huge miracle will come your way. Or things just change so drastically. Like... Our lives are about to change as drastically as I don't even know how what to compare it to but stay tuned because by the end of this week a lot of things are gonna happen a lot of things that you are not gonna want to miss anyway this is happening again just to keep our horses safe because you guys saw yesterday's video then you'll see Finn and Storm gallop across the mud and yeah somebody's gonna pull us something hey Gabby are you excited for this week Yes. Do you know what's happening this week? Hey! Don't even talk about it because nobody knows. But yesterday we'll be sat in the field You're with the selfies. horses. Aw, still like it's a teeny tiny piece. <laughs> yesterday while we sat in the field with our horses, we made little flower bouquets out of grass for our horses. And everybody gets a little strand of grass. <laughs> That's very generous of you, Gabby. But I like it that you're sharing with all the horses. Like yeah. Oh, I just totally lost some. But but did you guys notice that everybody got a piece and Storm got the whole bouquet? I saved this one for Storm. Ah, so Storm is shared. It's his morning treat. So guys, look at Storm's neck. So much better. It's healing up. Good morning, Sophie. With did all you? the sweaters. <laughs> it's not even that cold out. With all this mud, I'm surprised that he did not lose that shoe. Yeah, I know. So. Tell them who's coming today. The farrier's finally coming. Yeah, and what's he gonna do? Put a shoe on store. But are you excited for the changes that are happening this week? No. You're not excited? I don't know, what are they? So are you excited? Yes. And do you know what else is gonna happen? No. One time every week, week I'm <laughs> Our trainers come to our barn even though it's not been it's not ideal because we're not completely set up uh, eat faster. at least once a week it's been really beneficial because she showed us a way to divide hay evenly every single day so that our horses are consistency consistently getting the exact same amount of food so that's super good even though our farm is not super amazing and not super set up right now I've come to love this little farm and all the things that we do have. Like we have an indoor arena and it's tiny, not super useful for riding. 
hay in my hair. Yeah. Nope, that's not hay. That's my elastic. How did that happen? Anyway, not super useful for riding and training, but so grateful to have it. Willow, are you grateful to have it? Are you grateful? Love that little pony. All that time we were looking for farms and this one was the one that we were meant to get. The first farm that we were meant to get. Um, God knew what he was doing. He knew what we needed more than we needed. And I, I know not every one of you guys believes in God, but I just want to say, I really honestly feel there's, there's a higher power out there, whether you believe in the universe and getting back what you give or God or whatever you guys believe in, just know that there is a plan. Even when you're going through a really hard time like James Charles, things are gonna change, something's gonna happen. All you have to do is get up and enjoy your day and wake up, get out of bed, and see what today has to, to bring. Um, so, Lo was starving last night. She ate like all of her groin right away. Oh, good. So, We've um, done a good job if they're hungry. <laughs> if you will use all her groin, so people want us to do a barn tour. We are going to do that. We just still have a little bit of cleaning up to do, organizing to do. Shout out to the company who makes these sweaters because it's fuzzy on the inside, but then if you're wearing a long sleeve, then it's like, it's like, um, uh, hurry. This. Oh. So that your you know, arm just slips in there. Wow. Fashion guru and Sophie. It's fuzzy here and it might. And it's kind of fuzzy here. So it keeps you nice and warm. Do you know where you got that hoodie? Costco. You know what would be so great? Is if we came in this afternoon, if we came in in a couple of hours and the horses discovered that the fence is not turned on and they were all mingled. And they were all mingled and we didn't have to like worry about it. That would be like the best thing. Everybody man your station. Move out of the way, Hendrix. Cute boy. You are such a good boy. Yes, you are. Come on, right. Come on, buddy. This is what I let him in last It's raining, dude. Uh, you, for you guys who are wondering, Finn is starting to stand up to Storm. Storm's not mean, though. He's not mean to Finn. Just kind of bossy. Just a little bit bossy. I know. Did you guys notice the dapples? They're coming out. Is this dapples? So Finn has dapples all Storm over his belly. The... Whoever his dad was was super handsome, I betcha. Storm's starting to get dapples, see? Yeah, he's he baying. On the bottom of his... Let's have dapples. <laughs> Stella! No, no, his ears were pinned during that. He was telling Finn off. Um. It's not dapples. That's not really dapples. That's just baying, right? No, he gets dapples in the summer. So Storm actually. I want to show you a picture of last year. He got really. Yeah. Send me a picture. Can you email me a picture? At the house. All right, because oh. everybody wants to see Storm's Instagram. dapples. Okay. Storm. Oh, you are such a handsome boy. On the lower part of his barrel. And Here. um, the other horse that gets dapples, like really gorgeous, amazing dapples, better than all the rest dapples, is Stella. At the end of the winter, she gets a bunch of dapples all over her butt. As the days get closer to our vet check, I start to get more and more nervous because this vet check is going to mean a lot of different things for us. Like, Stella might get her hocks injected. Like, that would be so awesome. 
But she's not stiff in her back, is it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. Like, we've done it's so much work and so much perseverance and so much waiting with Stella. Like, I'm excited to see what our vet says. I think vet visits for every horse owner is exciting because I want to see how we're doing on our weight. No. I want to see. What do you think the vet's going to say about our weight? What do you think about Stella? Good or okay or bad? She's good. What do you think about Stella's weight? Good. What do you think about Finn's weight? He seems a tiny bit fat. What do you think about Finn's weight? He needs to be able to talk to him. I think so too. Yeah, what do you think about Storm? That, his stomach will go up. What do you think about Storm's weight? He's perfect. What do you think about Storm's weight? Horrible. <laughs> Is that because you're jealous? Uh, yeah, and Willow, yeah, Willow. we have. Okay, what do you think about Willow's Willow, weight? So, Willow was a bit overweight when we got her, and. Okay. I think that's just a normal thing for minis. They're usually so, over, a bit chubby. No, 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 no. Don't no. stress her out. The stomach goes down here. Wait. Yeah, so we've been trying to like make her a healthy weight too. So now her stomach is up more. That's yeah. What happened to yeah. So. How does blue on her? Blue? How did you get blue on you, Stella? That was weird. I think the Easter Bunny came. I think the Easter Bunny came too. Like maybe the Easter Bunny loves horses and just comes to visit. Yeah. It's almost like a Schleich picture. We should go home and recreate this in Schleich. You wanna? Girls are choring it up. That's one of the bad things about homeschool. We have chores at the barn and then chores at the house. Sam, yesterday for Mother's Day, all I asked for was for you to get the chickens. That's right. How's it going? Let's Good. update. Good. Half done. Half done? Oh, that's really good. When will it be fully done? Uh, hopefully by Father's Day. <laughs> so, it is breakfast time. Let's show them some chickens. What kind of chicken do you think she is? This is she's what kind of chicken mix. do you think she is? She is. She's just a barnyard a mix. mix. But look at how cute Pretty. she is. Like, she's just beautiful. Our chickens are so good about being, ooh, <laughs> about being handled. No, they're all having their morning turkey drink. She looks gorgeous. Like... Yeah, get your chicken out. Why she's a turkey? This is Gabby's chicken, and she named her this turkey. Is turkey. And she's a Rhode Island red. I love Rhode Island yeah. reds. Oh, see, she's... this is why she's turkey. Yeah, she's a turkey. You're acting like a turkey. By the sound of her, she's like. All right. Come on. Yeah, she she is so pretty. So Such pretty. a pretty chicken. Okay. Great. I'm obsessed with chickens. Go do Molly. Do Molly. I don't know why chickens I find easier than bunnies. Like, you still have to clean them the same, but I guess chickens you don't really technically have in your house. And bunnies you do. And I know you can have bunnies Here's in the Bella. outside, but... Here's Molly. So she's... Oh, and she is one of our friendliest chickens, believe yes, it or not. Yes, you could touch her in the cage and she won't Yeah, run she's away. really cute. Okay, fine. Kaylee's. Oh my god. Gabby's our chicken catcher. Ruby is our wannabe chicken catcher. No <laughs> chicken catching. Did you find Kaylee's? She's in the bag. Chicken strips? Yeah. So this one is chicken strips. Oops. Oh my god. Is Dad's chicken? This is this is Sam's chicken called chicken strips. Ruby's licking her lips. She's like, let me eat the chicken. No, Ruby. Oh, she's so pretty. This is um chicken. Yesterday for Mother's Day I got presents. I got flowers from Brooklyn and Jacob. Aren't they beautiful? None of our vases are unpacked. Also got handcrafted art from Brooklyn and Jacob with their handprints. Like their handprints are I so pretty. I her. She went in for a drink and I grabbed her. Oh, there she is. This Dude. is Kaylee's chicken. She's so little. Look at how little she is. Poop she's on you soon. actually yeah. She's gonna poop and she's gonna. <laughs> oh, and she just. Great. Ruby, eat it. Oh, come on. Oh, don't touch me now. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. <laughs> The other thing that I got for Mother's Day, which was a surprise, um, was I got an Amazon one. gift card. I got an Amazon gift card. Uh, guess what I bought with my Amazon gift card? I bought something that I've been wanting for the longest time, and I just never buy it because I never waste money on it. Like, it's something that I just want for my own personal self. And I always like, you know, you, you moms know, you never buy stuff, waste money on stuff that you just want for your own personal self. Like South apps. Yeah, like I don't buy that kind of stuff for myself. But what I got with my Amazon gift card was a 
incubator for chicken eggs. You know what I'm so dog? excited about it. Like, I've been wanting a chicken incubator for so long. Not that I even necessarily need new baby chicks, but the whole process, we a couple of vlog like a couple of years ago in our vlogs, we hatched baby ducks and baby chicks. Oh my god, the best experience oh god. ever. Wasn't it fun though? The baby chick loved me. Yeah. Kids. Yeah, like they become you become their mom. Anyway, um, you guys might not know, but race car driver is a chicken connoisseur. He has like a lot more chickens than me, and he has a rooster. And yeah, I'm gonna get eggs, and I'm going to hatch us some baby chicks, and it's gonna be amazing. This is storm. Here, let's see. And we do not find a boy fin. So, so we do not have a boy Willow. fin. We got Willow. She's a mare. So yeah, this is going to be, alright, so this is the fin, Storm and Finn, since it's rainy and we can't do anything, it's not just rainy, it's also cold. Ooh, Stella, you be looking so thin, look at that. Oh my god, see that white in between there? She has a hood too. Wow. That is super neat. So, here's Willow, Stella, Stella almost looks like that now. Uh, Finn and Storm and you know what's weird Finn this this Finn even though it's a girl is actually like just a little bit shorter than Storm a little bit shorter than like these, these are horses you guys when I was shooting this morning um, I was showing you guys the horses out there and I was like hey we should like recreate this in Schleich so that's what the girls are gonna do oh, is this a Schleich setup from Scala, Will, Finn and Storm is that what it was like Everybody is grooming horses while they eat, except for Willow, which we need to groom her because she's got a lot of fur. Anyway, the farrier is coming and we're gonna see if we can get some little teeny tiny studs. And Storm does not have back feet shoes, he just has front shoes, right? Push it. Push it. Push it. chat groups on Instagram private messages and it's like a hundred people and it's these girls and this one hopefully they don't care if I put them in the vlog ask them if they care if I put them in the vlog anyways I saw them they're on Instagram and I got tagged in it so I started watching and they were talking about James Charles and I was like does anybody else feel sorry for him he's 19 he made some mistakes a lot of the things that Tati is saying about him are things that he said to her in confidence and that could be taken out of context so easily and I just feel so bad for him like it must feel like the whole entire world is against him and I know what that feeling is like because we've had people hate on us before in an extreme way and it just makes me feel bad. But anyway, so I started talking to them and now we're all talking and it's really fun. Like talking to you guys is fun. Wait, now there's more. I said that I was gonna put them in the vlog and then all these other girls started posting pictures. We're still waiting for the farrier and it's cold and it's raining, but because of the mud, we have to take Storm up to the house. While we wait, Gabby's blaring the music and she's running around in the boy little paddock and her horse is chasing her. And the girls are like, oh my goodness, you guys are terrible. What are the dummies up to now? <laughs> the girls are like ready to jump in and save Storm from Gabby. <laughs> and Finn's like, just stay away from me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.